I think we jump uh, jump into it, hit hit it head on. Uh, I'm not I'm not backing down from uh, some manufactured, fabricated allegations. I won't do that. Uh, you know the the these things that people want to make up and and say about me. I've been dealing with it my whole life. Preposterous allegations my whole life, honestly, and uh, I hate it, and and it sucks and. Being in the public spotlight, that's going to happen. It's part of the job. And I think a lot of people in, in today's society are afraid to talk about it or they need to talk to their team about what should I say and what do I do and oh my gosh, everything is going to ruin, I'm going to be ruined and uh, people aren't going to like me and people are going to believe this. Like, yeah, all, all of that might be true, but it's like it, if I know at the end of the day I didn't do something and someone's making some bullshit up, I'm going to come out and fucking defend myself. So before the podcast, I asked you if you wanted to talk about it. And uh, originally I said we should leave it off the table, table just because it is a really, really sensitive um, subject because you're dealing with um, a circumstance where, not with you, but there are legitimate actual victims involved. And um, you're right. A lot, of, a lot of people in Hollywood inter- entertainment shy away from it. And so I, I, I also hate the idea of giving um, someone attention who, who lied about someone that I care deeply about in you. And um, I asked you to your face. I made you swear on mom's life, my life, and I know you, and I trust you, and I love you and believe you. Uh, when you say it's all bullshit and that there is no sexual relationship that encount- that took place between you and this woman, and I, like you, tend to to stick up for myself when I believe my truth is the truth. Mm -hmm. And I like that you're willing and enthusiastic to come on here and, and, and not be afraid to address something that is so absurd because I think in an era where, um, the me too movement is actually legitimate and finally men in power are being held accountable. I think, um, I said this in my Twitter post, I think accountability will be, uh, an earmark of our generation i think it's something we're great at doing um and cancel culture again it it has its perks the me too movement of course like holding men accountable for being uh discussing and misusing and and abusing their power um i think is really important and in an era where uh you have the occasional person come forward who fabricates a story to to get attention or, or do so for whatever reason um i'm not sure if there is anything that is that is more vile that is more disgusting, um, invalidating legitimate victims of abuse and uh, sexual assault um, is, uh, uh, it breaks my heart. It breaks my heart. And so I, I, I was uh, willing to put my foot down with you and stand in solidarity because I, I, again, bro, I've, I've seen it. I've seen you uh, and your name be thrashed around and abused and um, lied upon for the past two, three years. And, and, and this one is... Um, Absurd, man, and 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 I I hate that it came out in fight week. By the way, yeah, what, I feel what, like that's what a, a timing type of thing. What though. a coincidence! Wow, what a coincidence. the of biggest course. week of your life, of course. You um, know. And this was years ago, she claims. Yeah, what? Well, yeah. It, 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 so so this is where it gets tricky because the psyche of um, sexual assault and and and, and rape uh, isn't always immediate, yep. and that's that's why, as a table full of men talking about an issue like this, it is difficult. But what, when I when I look at him in the eyes and he tells me what he tells me about the situation um, and that there was no sexual relationship that took place, I believe him, and and I'm and I'm and I'm willing to put my name and um, stand beside my brother in this specific circumstance because it is bullshit, man. If any girl, and I I even talked about it on this podcast before, which is why I feel so strongly about this, man. I went online one day and there was a girl who made an 18-minute video with very specific details about a date that I took her on and I got aggressive with her and abused her halfway through the date and stormed out. Never met the girl in my life. No idea who she is. Never even had seen her. And, 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 and that's how I know like this is unfortunately happening. And when it hits this close to home, yep. I'm so fucking not cool with it, man. Because, like, again, there are fucking real victims of some serious shit that fucks them up for the rest of their life. And when women cry wolf... It makes it, others not look real. It is the worst, man. It is, it is, it sucks. I think lying about a situation is as equally evil as doing that situation. So if you have the heart to commit a uh, an act like that, is, in my eyes, 
equal to committing fake like news about it because you are watering down. At what point are we just going to hear a story like this and just be like, well, that's going to be sad. If we ever get to a point where we hear something like that and be like, I agree. I agree well, with well, you. Well, I, I agree I, with you I, on that. Just be, especially given the climate that we're in. Normally, so, normally in a in a climate where there it wasn't as polar opposite as believe all victims and you know and, and question all stories. I've always fallen somewhere in the middle. Investigate all claims. I'm right in the middle of both of them. Investigate thoroughly. Investigate all claims and have a decision making and a process around the findings. Okay. But in the climate that we live in, the statement you just made about a claim being almost a, a false claim being almost as damaging as an actual case is true because a false claim can quickly become a real claim in today's society because of the internet, because of the culture that we exist in. So what so and so the actually, internet though, can make the internet can make a false claim a real thing. Like so, it almost so, like it really happened. So I, I, I err on the side of like believing women. Like uh, uh, yeah, call me a fucking sure, that's uh, woke ass bitch. Sure. But like I, my knee jerk reaction is to side with the the woman. Uh, sure, um, and, I mean, and I would I, I would agree too. Yeah. I don't want to get into to too many of the details, but it's like and I think if you have been accused of something and you didn't do it and you know that and you can look yourself in the mirror and say, I did not fucking do this. I've never even had a sexual relationship with this girl by any means and she's completely making up this whole entire story. Then Yo, you need that to, is fucking you need crazy, to, you need bro. To go, you need to go back after that person and make sure that you, you're suing for defamation. There are irreparable damages I hope to you, this I hope accusation. You are. I hope you there are, are irreparable, by the way. irreparable damages to this accusation that will follow me for the rest of my life. And there's already damages, like, just behind the scenes shit of how messy things got this whole entire week from that it is absurd. And uh, it, it, it affects my life for many, many years to come. And I don't take that lightly. And my legal team doesn't take that lightly. And... I, w I will not back down from anyone who makes some false bullshit claims about me. I will chase it to the very fucking end and prove my innocence. And again, my character from years from now will show will show that this person and this individual is completely lying. And it, it, it's just fucked up, man. And, and you, you know where it, I, it sucks to be on the on the receiving end of it. And. <sighs> yeah, it's it's just bullshit. You are blessed in that you you uh, I, I don't know if they're fans or just people who are following the story, but I think um, there's uh, a number of people who have started to be able to poke holes. Her story is her story is awful, and, and I'm it, I'm it, seeing I'm seeing them. The, the fans have debunked it. There's Twitter threads t explaining yeah. everything. Like, it, how do you have the heart to do that? It's just mo so that's morally, the, that's, it doesn't that's make sense. That's the golden question. Morally, How it doesn't make sense. That's the golden heart question. To do that. Um, How, bro? If again, if I didn't, if I didn't have this happen to me, yo, like I watched this very endearing, like very specific video of some girl make up lies about me spending a day with her for 18 minutes, dude. <laughs> like it's not funny. Like yo, it's it, really not. If funny. it wasn't me, I would, I would believe it. But I was like, yo, hold on a second. You start hating yourself. I, I don't like, fucking know you. I don't, I've never seen you in my a, life. It's attention and, and clout and money. It's, there has to be some sort of repercussion for this. There, there has, has to be. Has to be. Yeah. So, so yeah, the, yeah, so the sure. governor of New York did this with, um, um, it was fake hate crime calls. Do you remember, do you yeah. remember this? He made, mm -hmm. now, there's, now there's consequences for if you, if falsifying you, a, yeah. a, a hate related crime. crime yeah. Which there, I, there, there's there definitely, has to there's be definitely like this. laws around. There's definitely laws around this thing. And by the way, like that 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 ferocious and by the way, rightfully and 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 100 justifiably ferocious group of um, people that are, have been rallying around me too, and and including everyone here, and believes in that and loves that movement. Those people are equally aggressive towards false fucking ac yeah, accusers. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this girl will get when she is debunked, will get fucking buried by public opinion. Listen, I didn't want to derail this 100%. I know you want to talk about it, but I also yeah. don't want to fucking kill everything, right? Mayweather, though, did... Decide throw that this salt was, in the wound, right? What do you what do you think? <laughs> that was about? Oh, so that was weird. so. That's so a low weird. blow. That's so, such a low so, blow. And remove the comments. I, I yeah, think, what was? Uh, why, why did he do that, Jake? I, I think uh, he is still per feels personally attacked. I, I think it's easy to tell that he's one of the most insecure people that there is. I mean, it just it, 
it reaps off of him. You can see his insecurities and in the way he moves, the way he acts, how he dresses, how he carries himself. He, he uses money to, uh, you know, make make himself cool. I mean, we don't have to go into all that, but but again, it's like he sees someone who is threatening his position uh, in the boxing world and getting hype, and he wants to be attached to it and a part of it. I'm surprised he could even read the article headline. There it is. There it is. <laughs> well, we don't know how long it took him. <laughs> he had all the, day. The girl <laughs> had all day. said Jake. But this is a guy This is a guy who, who went to jail and is guilty of 13 assault. accusations of assault yep. and abuse mm -hmm. of a female. So out of any, oh anyone to come God. out of the woodworks, Floyd Mayweather?